Hello everybody, my name is uh, Robert. Uh, this is just a video on basic minecart boosters. Uh, first of all, I just want to say, as of beta 1.5, a, a minecart will push another minecart as long as it is right next to it. So see how uh, those two touch each other? <laughs> they uh, launch after they touch each other. So, uh, and also, ignore this one. This was a fail attempt at... No, no, just creating one. Didn't work. Um, so, yeah, ignore that one. Alright, so, first off, I just want to say there are a lot more boosters than this, but they are, uh, bas they are basically uh, a bunch of these uh, basic boosters that I have laid out for you. They are a bunch of the basic boosters compiled together to make bigger boosters of the same thing, if that makes any sense. It's like combos and everything. But these are uh, the main building blocks of boosters. And uh, there's also ones where like it'll switch right here with redstone, but that's not a booster, that's like calling a minecart. That's a totally different story. Uh, so, I'm using single player commands, too many items, zombies, mod pack, and pistons. But pistons isn't actually in this video. Alright, so, um, first of all, green marks the booster, blue marks the actual minecart track. And you wouldn't have small tracks, obviously. Uh, you'd have it leading off to your station, or if uh, you're not pro, then you'd have uh, this as your main minecart track. But anyways, first of all, this is just a, uh, a basic self-resetting uh, booster. It's going to... Uh, when this, like I said earlier, it pushes that, uh, so they both give each other a boost, and then as that one goes up here, it, uh, oh, and I'm not going to tell you how to build these, uh, it's pretty obvious how to build them, uh, and if uh, you people really do want a building tutorial, then if I get 100 likes, I will do that. Um, so yeah, this goes up here and uh, turns around. And flies back to where it started and self resets itself. It's uh, pretty simple. As you can see, <laughs> crazy camera. Alright, so, uh, yeah, really simple, really easy to build. This uh, does the exact same thing uh, with the exact same basic rules, except uh, it doesn't require any uh, change in. One second, sorry. Uh, it doesn't require any change in height or anything. You don't have to go down and then up, or um, just go up. You can just have it at the same level the entire time. Uh, it'll loop around and fly back onto the track and reset itself before this one goes all the way around. Uh, this one, oh yeah, so the reason these aren't the best mine tracks, minecart things you want to use is uh, for one sole reason that it's an ever-repeating uh, booster. Which means after a while, because the game can't handle this cart moving so much uh, for so long, the game uh, will crash because it runs off of Java. I'm pretty sure Minecraft runs off Java. Uh, and it can only hold like. It's probably something to do with that 2 billion thing. I don't know. Don't ask me. 200 million, I mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, and same with this one. It's. Uh, see, this one never. That one does stop, but this one will never stop unless you stop it like that. So, uh, yeah, that's a reason uh, it will crash your Minecraft. Minecraft. Uh, so, this one is a lot, a lot better because, as you can see, at some point, both of these stop and reset. So, uh, we've still got the, the repeating one you saw over there. Uh, it's that one we already said it does stop itself. It's the other track that wasn't stopping itself. And I'm sorry, I do, I just realized I do have this wrong. Um, the blue and green in this one are meant to be switched. Sorry. Uh, anyways, the green one uh, here, as you can see, at one point it goes up so high that it can't actually boost that. So it stops for a second, falls back down, and boosts that one. So it does stop for... A uh, small second, and then continues as it was doing. This is the most unreliable booster of them all. It does give the most power, but uh, a lot of times the tracks will fly off of the booster, and also it will just stop. And also, this is moving really fast with a lot of minecarts, so it's going to crash your game real fast. Uh, 
if it does manage to keep moving. Most of the time, carts will fly off and it just won't work anymore. So first off, you're going to do that and just get them all going because they're all pushing each other with all of them uh, working together to push the one in front of it, which pushes the one in front of it, and it's just a chain reaction. Um, and then you just have you put that there, and boom. It's, uh, it, it's got a lot of power behind it, but once again, it will crash your Minecraft, and it will uh, break real easily, so I never, never recommend that. This is a uh, two-way self-resetting. It's... Um, it's it's pretty simple. It's probably the most simple of all of these. So uh, what happens is you have your minecart sitting here, and geez, this is starting to get a bit annoying to be honest. <laughs> all right, so uh, your minecart comes around here, pushes it to that side, comes back around on this side, and pushes it back, goes back around, and boom, starts the thing all over again. But once again, this minecart never stops and will crash your Minecraft. And that's my failed attempt. All right, so that's uh basically it. It uh, that's the basics of minecarts, minecart boosters. I mean, and all other boosters you see are gonna be like, see this uh this reversed itself, which will also happen every now and then. Um, that's not a good thing. So yeah, if you see any other boosters, I guarantee you they'll just be uh combos and variations of these. But uh, these are the basics. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped out a lot of people. Um, it, it's really not that hard once you get the hard of, once you get the hang of it. Uh, redstone is where it's gonna get difficult, but once you get the hang of that, it's not too difficult either. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.